let's get back into our game here. I can't remember for the life of me what the hell I'm doing. I only know that Galicia Valencia is getting apparently it's ass kicked by... Who? Who is doing the ass kickerinoing? Uh, it looks like um, Novazil is uh, gonna take over some stuff there. So it looks like Italy is getting donkey stomped by who? By Tyro? Probably. Yup. Europe is a mess. Oh well, ain't that fun. Let's uh, speed up the game. Go to speed 4. Realize that I build, need to build a whole lot more fleet. So let's build about 20 battleships. Let's do about 40 of them. I don't know about 60 of them. Um, apparently that gets me over my, my fleet cap. So I need to cancel a couple of them. Wait, no. What? Okay, now it does... Uh, let's see. Sounds like crickets. Wait, there are crickets? That's not what's supposed to be happening. It might be OBS then. God damn it, why are my settings being fucky? Nah, my mic, yeah, so... Fuck, okay, let me... Should be fixed now. Yep, we good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just replugged some cables. It, yeah, there was some noise on the line. So yeah. Well. All right. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. Let's continue. Let's also build a little bit more military because why the fuck not? Uh. Let's see. Uh, that's enough for three more, so let's not do anything for the African. I wish you could minimize some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what we get from this. All right, let's go. With yeah, it is on. Um, I need to keep. I need to actually plan what I want to do this specific. Um, uh, stream. Uh, because it seems like donkey punching China is not really in the uh, cards here. Jesus, they've grown. Um, I have to figure out what the hell I want to do. Um, uh, maybe remove this, r fix some bits and bobs here, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. So maybe I should go to war with China at some point, but it's just that I don't really know. A lot of this stuff seems like a very bad idea. Um, oh yeah, this is uh, this is some fun stuff. Luckily, when we go to Hoi 4, a lot of this will be cleaned up. I uh, communist India. <laughs> maybe maybe we shoot the British thing. Take Kenya. Yeah, but I'm allied with Persia, so I can't take Kenya yet. I'm sorry. Um, I can... I can clean up a little bit here. It also seems that Egypt is slowly being devoured by... 
or Greater Bashmur being devoured by... Who is actually occupying here? Oh, reactionaries. Wait, they're not westernized yet? Oh, they are. Yeah, I think we're just gonna clean up here in France, because I don't really see any other reason for anything. So Franconia, yeah, gotta be next on the list. Now they're in Austria's sphere, so it might get us into a war with Austria. Which is invading Slovakia. We can at least clean up Greater Aquitaine. Let's start with that. So let's just start with cleaning up some of these, these fucking miners. So Provence, you're gonna be the first one. We'll justify a war, just a conquest that seems to be very expensive. So let's not do a conquest war. Why is conquest so damn expensive? Uh, because you want to delete them or unite the Dutch lands. Um, I think the uni unification with the Dutch lands is the problem that one of the primary targets of my sphere. The bit that I would want this and and this, one of it is in the sphere of one of my allies, which is apparently building a whole lot of shit. Good. Uh, the other one is actually the capital of uh, the Palatinate. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, all right, let's start removing Austrasia. Let's just start with that and we'll take some of the Belgian lands here. Uh, just for a war, I... Oh, I actually... Ah, okay, that's that's a little bit risky. Let's wait for a second to uh, drop our infamy a little bit. Apparently I kicked some rebels. I still have rebels? Do I? Hmm, I do. Not that I'm aware of, so I don't think I do. Yeah, the US is still a foster clock. Um, I am not gonna... I'm gonna clean this up after the fact. Like, what the hell? Oh yeah, Newfoundland. This is literally just gonna be um, Canada, and it's gonna just feed this bit in here. Uh, probably feed some of like these pieces into it. Um, I'm gonna get rid of most of the natives and we're gonna clean up a whole lot here. Uh, I might make an independent taxes because it's just funny. Uh, and I'll feed in some bits and bobs like this into taxes, like some of the uh, bits here. This will become the CSA, this will become the USA. Um, and I'm gonna have to see what the converter does first. The infamy system is still stupid, you're not gonna defend it. Use, if you please, if you like. I don't want to cheat. I, I, the infamy system is is a, the if you compare it to the um, aggressive expansion system of EU four, that is a whole lot better because it you know allows you still to be fairly aggressive. But infamy is just I don't know. Don't really like it. Yeah. So yeah, this is actually gonna be a very large, um, probably like a Colombia here and some Zhao here. But that, we have to see how this goes. Um, uh, let's see... Oh, I, I don't care about that. Alright, well, we, uh, seems that there are a lot of uh, British, uh, or Anglo-Saxons dropping in here. Excellent. Gotland wants an alliance. I don't want an alliance with Gotland, though. Alright, um... Let's get a good school system going. So I've got some reactionaries coming up. Not exactly where it's coming from. What what this guy? Jacobites. Some fucking camis. It's mostly communists apparently that want to get some stuff done. But actually, looking at our rebel system, we are doing pretty good. Um. Yeah, I, I, and when did I get the the idea of like, yeah, just cheat in some um, um, removal of infamy? I get your point, just don't like the idea of it. Uh, you need a random guard, so let's uh, give him the guard that he needs. What are you missing? A guard as well. Seems I'm... I'm gonna need a lot more guards. Hmm. Alright. I still don't know what determines guard, what, 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 you know, what enables you to build guard inventory. It doesn't... Does actually the game ever explain to me you what it... Or is it that these guys need a different, um... 
of oh i guess they need to be from accepted cultures oh well i get the tech they're also exports uh, with countries if you form scandinavia as iceland for example you can release iceland but since that's your capital the only, only province in the game will let you do it so spam the button for free infamy ah Okay, but yeah, good to know for the guards. Uh, hey, wait, what? Oh, we bypassed the Chinese. All right, because we donkey stomped them. We, uh, well, we didn't. They didn't involve themselves in their fucking war, which is kind of their mistake. Um, fucking infamy, though. Yeah, infamy is kind of blocking. I'm going to just do a little bit of work here in Europe. I'll see if I can create a more Dutch colony. Um... And we might integrate some bits and bobs here. Uh, we're gonna remove Australia and create a more solid France. Uh, I might release France in uh, Hoi 4 as a puppet, which might be a little bit more fun, but... Um, um, and stuff like this will be cleaned up. Like, we still have like small independent nations here that I really don't like to exist. Because they suck. But let's uh, let's just clean up our borders a little bit. Um, stuff like Burgundy. Like, who cares about Burgundy? Anyway, actually, I remember myself that I, we have a new level of railroad. Oh, it seems that our capitalists literally just went ham. They realized we could build railroads, and they were like, "Yep, let's get that shit done yesterday." So yeah, let 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 them do that. Apparently, I really don't need to get myself involved in that. Oop. Capitalists are building. Good. Excellent. Get some naval stuff. What does this look like? This does not look like a well set up military. Uh, I needed some more guards anyway, so let's get some more. What do I need for my battleships? Is it canned food? Oh, really? That's a primary problem? Um... Okay, but I don't think I can build factories right now, can I? I I can't. I can only subsidize them. I think we, our liberal party is actually not that bad. Um, let's upgrade some stuff. Holy shit, we have a lot of factories. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Should have abandoned France and went full colonial island control. That's fun to do in Mew. Sailors get got to eat, man. Yeah, apparently. Uh, apparently they do. But, uh, eh, well, whatever. Whatever. I guess we have to live for now that our, our infamy gain is just completely crap. Or reduction. Well... Army organization, that's all fine and dandy. I really have nothing to actually read. Hey, we could do some commerce, might not be bad. How am I spending my money? Well, I'm spending it as much as I can. Let's tax the, let's detax the rich a little bit. Let's notice some red here on the poor, so let's not tax the crap out of them yet. Um it's not completely annihilate the population of a country. If its name I pronounce, I'll probably get instantly demonetized, banned, and shot to the moon. So let's not have that kind of fun. Let's hustle. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. It's gotta be like we have such an idiotically um, large army. And we can get even bigger. So that's the th that's what I dislike about the infamy system. It's that I could. It's just that it's not that your neighbors will start, you know, donking punching you. It's will just like literally everybody in the world will. Try to nip you down a little bit. I guess it is, you know, the Victorian area wasn't really the age of conquest. It was the age of, you know, being a bigger dick than the rest of the people. But still, it's kind of a shame. 25 divisions is that big. It's pretty standard for early game for Russia, for example. Yes, but we're not Russia. We are uh, the glorious UK. 
And I don't, you know, own like most of all of that. So. We have 34 million people. I think that's pretty good. Let's go with speed 5, because there's no real reason for us to nip at speed 4. Alright, let's start uh, justifying a war. If it pops over, I, I might reduce uh, it by console command. Four point four. If it doesn't lead to war, I'll be fine. The monthly change is not that bad. Um, oh, that's no, that's right. How is the vision? Uh, How's the diversion among the pops? Um, I think it's... We're mostly still... Uh, we've got a lot of wells, just some stuff, but... Uh, I don't know exactly what you, you want to know. As in, what the uh, distribution is of how many people of what? Mm. We're mostly Anglo-Saxon, and we have a... Yeah, okay, 21, 22% Anglo-Saxon, a 12.5% French. We've got a pretty large Irish uh, domination. We've got a decent Welsh and we've got a lot of other. <laughs> if you max out your army, you might avoid uh, containment wars from infamy. Uh, yeah, fair enough. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. I however, I think a large portion of my army will uh, be uh, African. Um, and that's a little bit the point where I really lose what I need to do. I apparently need two more regulars in Africa. So let's get those. Um, where's that? Are they in here? This is just even not even a correct damn army. Um, let's see. Um... This definitely looks looks a little bit weird. Um, okay, so let's just merge these up. We have this one that is a little bit odd. So the two there, we need to um, two cannons and seven infantry. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two more cadence. Who got South Africa? Uh, South Africa does. Uh, but they're my puppet, so we do. Hey there, Blackheart Chairman. I love answering a question before I actually, you know, <laughs> call your name out. Oh well. Wait, how is admin efficiency not enough there? Let's get some bureaucrats going there. Let's uh, see if we can fix some of our taxational problems. Uh, there we go. How European is Africa culturally? Uh, can I check that? Per continent? I don't know. Um, it doesn't really look like a... Is there a culture map mode? Nationality. Uh, mostly... Looks like Africa Minor uh, culture, some Lunda. 
Yeah, this, there's not a lot of... Uh, it seems like mostly got local culture here. Um, yeah, there's definitely not a lot of actual European culture in, in, in Africa. Most of it all looks pretty... Yep. Check your oldest colonies. I wouldn't even know what my oldest colonies are. They're probably somewhere around here, I guess. But yeah, about 11% Anglo-Saxon. I think there's more of them in here, which are some of the older cultures that we have. But I think these are mostly, you know, took uh, gone from um, uh, EU4. Ireland is my oldest. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, Anglo-Saxon is rising in some of them pretty badly. Or good, depending on your point of view, I guess. Uh... Alright, well. Am I still justifying? Yeah, I am. Ah, we've dropped low already. That's good. Right. Pretty good. Let's see what we have here. No, don't split in half. Create a new unit. There we go. It's kind of insane considering how much army you have in later stages of this game. Um, in reality, the... Um, British had a fairly small army at the end of uh, the start of the First World War, even. All right, uh, Flanderen. There we go. War has been declared. Um, all right, probably should not take too long. It's not really that we're fighting anybody capable of resisting us anyway, so... Um. Alright, kill them, kill that. Da -da -da -da. Can I add on a war goal? No. Sadly enough, we can't. Hey, we got our electric gear factory, so we can't build any of them, but I'm hoping the... Uh, the rich will take that up at some point. Well, there it is. Peace in our time. Uh, can I add on? Is any close? No, I'm not even close enough and already own most of their land anyway, so... There we go. Got a little bit of territory. Not bad. Not great. But hey, it is, you know, a nice little start of the cleanup in Europe. Yeah. I know, I, I could force it in, I think, by re-electing as well. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to cheat yet. I, uh, I, I I think we should stick in the future with as much of his HPM as we can. But uh, for now, we'll, we're stuck with uh, factory input tech efficiency. Oh, you know. The question is, though, are we building any new factories of any interest? I kind of was hoping we would get some electric gear factories to show up. We don't have them yet. Yeah, there's still an issue in HPM. Fair enough. Spamming elections is legal cheating. Fair enough. You'll see, us, uh, you'll see if you play enough Victoria 2. I, uh, I really, I really want to play more of this game. Um, it's just it's a very good game. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Uh, no longer tax the rich, because that's going to leave... Uh, I think that the uh, the poor strata... Well, not tax them, extra tax them, I mean. Um, and well, I kind of want to see if they start to investing a little bit more in... Factory projects, that kind of stuff. Yeah, if you look at the amount of factories that are being dumped out now... I hope that is a good idea. The poor are kind of looking red. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Alright, let's... Uh, let's see if we can go to a 40% tax for everybody. And afford that. That's, I think, the question. Yeah, that looks fine. That should make it a little bit easier. We can make cars. 
We get some great tech coming in, though. Uh, it's just a question of... Uh, oh, God. Uh, let's slow down a little bit. Yeet. All right. Uh, all right. I think all of my armies are on... Automatic defense. What are these rebels, actually? Um, what are you guys fighting for? You are a communist. Filthy, filthy communist. Well... In a country as liberal as ours, communists really have no place, so... Uh, I think I should put some more on the mainland. It doesn't literally look like a lot of them are crossing over. All right, looks, it looks like we're good here. I definitely gotta need some more African armies, so let's uh, build a couple more. Okay, we're good here. There's never really a lot that rises up here anyway. Um, those are not my rebels, so I don't care. I think we're good in America, because America doesn't lack communism. All right, um, let's build some more army. Um, hmm. Don't know why it's like that. What does it mean? That's where the goods are on stockpile. I don't give a shit. Um. That should do the trick. Uh, you can always check later in the sidebar. Yeah, I just wanted to check if there's something I needed to uh, address. That doesn't really look like it, so... So I think we'd be good. Let's see... This looks mostly all... Oh, Jan Mayen. See, that is a problem. And that's not the... That's not Jan Mayen, but I think I misclicked. Uh, right. I need an army. Get your ass over to Inverness. And I need some research done. Let's get some market regulations. Because who doesn't like more market regulations? Alright, well... Ferrer Islands, Leinster, Southampton. Okay, so... I got some fucking troops stuck in Iceland. That's not great. Uh, where's my other transport? Because I just... I did say that the... Ah, oh, crap. And I need to go through all my fleets to figure out which the fuck one it is. I should rename... Probably really name these. There we go. Um... Clipper, transport. There we go. Allows me to find them in the list. I just noticed that on the Fourreur Islands there were... That's actually up here, so I'm already working on that. I think I just uh, con confused two completely different parts of the world. That's about as far apart as you can get, so... Oh, hey. Look, they, could, they still do their work. They still do their job perfectly, so don't complain. Let's not do it like that. There we go. Keep a couple more of these. I think we uh, we cleaned them up. We got some hostile occupations. These should be cleaned up soon anyway. Yep, yep, and then Jan Mayen, and that's about it. Once again, communists failing at everything. Well, this game is almost over. Yeah, yeah, we are. We got a, well, it's not true actually. We got thirty six years more, uh, thirty six more years to go, thirty five. Uh, but yeah, we. Um, I'm probably at this. If we can keep going at this speed, it might be that I say, especially if nothing really happens. Uh, yeah, sure. Congo can be Congo. I might integrate them back in. Um, 
in uh, Hoi 4. But if that leads to less trouble for me right now, that's probably for the best. But yeah, I might, uh, I might go early into Hoi 4. Um, for next week. Check out the planning mode. It's a dark button instead of two arrows. Yeah, I know, actually. Um, I've heard about this before. Anyone? one. Yeah, you can like do battle plans, for example, like the plan to invade this guy and they say like, all right, new plan that you can do. I, I like this feature. It doesn't really ever serve much of a purpose for me because, you, you know, you can't actually attach anything directly to it. But I, I like the idea of, of the fact that you can do a lot of drawing, that kind of stuff. Um, oh, it's yeah, that's actually useful. Yeah, fair enough. Oh man, what happened to your Hoi 4 game? What happened to your Hoi 4 game, man? Yeah, and I think this has got to be the last... Uh, oh, mods won't load? What do you mean? Like, they just don't load at all, or are they not showing up, or... Because another new launcher is a little bit fucky. So... Yeah, take that as you want, but uh, it's like literally it just crashes if you load any mods in, or... Ah, oh, it is the launcher. Yeah, of course it's the launcher. It's always the launcher. That thing is fucking terrible. I don't get it, right? Yeah, then the old launcher looked like looked like shit, but it wasn't... I didn't, ha I didn't hate it. It wasn't bad. Unlike the uh, shit show that we're currently looking at with the launcher. Oh, we've got some clippers in here. Oh, fuck. I'll, I'll, I'll empty those out at some point. Alright. Um, yeah, it is, it is fucking terrible, to be honest. I might actually do a... Speaking of terrible things... Um, I don't know if it's going to be terrible yet. But I might do a surprise... Um, stream tomorrow with the release of the new Stellaris Necron pack. I don't know yet. My part of the high population in my home country is to know where I put rebel hunting divisions in and Dome of the World War. Oh yeah, that's a fair... fair thing. I don't think I'm, I'm that far into the min-maxing yet. Um, I guess that's my... Uh, we're not we're not we're not at that stage yet here at uh, at the Moses quest as much as I uh... oh for crying out loud I hate it when my damn army starts shitting the bet regarding the uh, amount of divisions templates that they have I get it it's annoying um, yeah, no, I think, um, I think I, I might actually spend, if you guys agree with me, the last hour of today's stream as a little bit of conversion and cleanup uh, stream. It's not going to be the most interesting bit to watch, but I think we, we've reached the point where it's no longer going to be interesting. We, we are pretty much on top of the world. We are first in the army, first in prestige, duty, second on industry, and... Um, I can just start dumping out troops for as long as possible. Uh, Great World War would have been fun. We had a minor one, but it seems that China has not really wanted to do anything. Austria is just, you know, taking over parts of the world. And I think it might be interesting to clean up. Holy shit, what's happening here? They're at war with Kiowa, but who's occupying all their shit? Oh, rebels. Manchu nationalist? Oh, I think China might just shit the bed. I'm pretty sure they just did. Um, landed voting. Well, there we go. How would Hoi 4 you play with a nation that isn't Britain? Um, well... I think it's the grand campaign, man. So we uh, we have to finish with the British Empire. It will be the last bit of the grand campaign, I and mean, I can finally do world conquest. 
Uh, okay, we're at a semi-constitutional monarchy. Aren't we happy pappies? So... People realize that voting might be a thing. Sun never sets in the British Empire, I guess. Elections, yeah. I know. Uh, Pass the people because soldiers gain militancy. Ah, fuck it. That's fine. Alright, uh, what do you need? You need a guard. Uh, you need two guards. And I haven't played Hoyt before now in a, in, a, in a while, so I'm also sorta... I wouldn't say I miss it, but... Um, I'm so used to playing it a lot that I sorta do. It's such a mainstay of my life, playing that damn game. It's bloody terrible. Well, we actually gained Groning as a core, so... Well, it is... Uh, it's looking pretty good to be me. Everything is starting to become more and more core territory. Is, is London by now a core territory yet? Oh yeah, we actually have finding out London as a core territory. Right? Also not a German Empire. So, yeah. What are these rebels? Communists. Yeah, I, uh, I apologize, but I'm not going to let the commies uh, eat up there. Um, let's see. I need one guard to go here. And I need another one. To go over there, and uh, let's just eat these commies. I don't want a communist Germany. I originally found you on YouTube as that Hoi4 guy. Yeah, you know. I was one of the few people that still actively played Hoi4. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I have a love-hate relationship with that game. And... Yeah, this game's gonna kill me at some point, but uh, I'm, I don't know, I, I'm hoping that they, uh, like the last DLC really, for me, kind of did me in. It was, it was a point where I was like, you know what, I don't like where this is going. Speaking of not liking where this is going, I think I'm missing a ship. Oh god, oh I have, I have wait, I have, oh wait, that's, that's been removed, fuck. Um... Well, let's go all over there. Um, how many have we got on islands? Uh, I got some stuck on islands, god damn it. I gotta bother with that. Hey, Chris Step, what are you guys doing? How's up? What's up? Um, Quebecan communists. Ew. Where's my American army? There it is. Let's clean up some commies. I bet you totally not have the issues with Victoria 2 if Hoi 4 bothers you. It's mostly the DLC, I wouldn't say the DLC policy, it's mostly the, the, um... I don't know, just the last DLC really... Um... Really got me thinking, as in, where the fuck are they going with this uh, series? Um... And I think, I don't know, I I would overhaul a lot of the, the systems um, and not uh, go where they are going right now. What is the crisis currently? Wait, oh. Bashmir turns into crisis of the return of Syria's rightful territories. Who owns Syria? Persia. Hmm, I am early allied with Persia, so... Did you play Endless Space 2? I prefer the Stellaris. I have played some Endless Space 2. I haven't played it a lot. I... Both have their... I... I... Like, appeal to me. I'm also losing a whole boatload of money all of a sudden. I think it's because I've been... 
getting that much more of everything. Um, so I, I, there, I've got a, I want to say a love hate relationship with it. I, I, I like Solaris. It's um, and the space is just different. Um. I, I miss a, I was thinking about it like I think yesterday I miss certain bits about Solaris. I, I I like the different FTL methods. I get why they changed it. I kind of feel shame, um, but I think yeah I think I prefer especially for multiplayer. I definitely prefer Solaris, um, and I do play Solaris mostly in multiplayer. I did play some FTL multiplayer. We really need to fix this army here. Might be the reason why I'm losing so much money. Two three. I've got a large. I right, sent them off. I right, sent them off here. The interesting stuff. Balancing an army book. This is going to take a little while. Oh shit, uh, that's the one. That's one so fine. I think I'm missing several horses for now. Um, no, no, no. I still have horses. Never mind. All right, that's that one. Um, There we go. I like the lore graphics in ES2. Solaris feels a bit barren. Yeah, I think that's because, also because if, don't forget that Solaris natively doesn't have any lore, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need a horse and two horses, one infantry, three cannons. Two horses, one, two, three cannons and two infantries. There we go. All right, that should fix all of that. Um, and then I need to remember to put all these guys on automatic rebel suppression. Oh, I have one artillery piece here, so I need one less artillery piece. And... Not gonna bother with those, so there we go. Let's see how it goes. Um, I've been thinking, but I've think about Solaris and Hoy Four a lot lately, and how how I would progress with uh, with the future. Um, like what what they what they would need to do for me to make the game interesting again. I think I also have completely fucked army here We're in Europe. All right, I have a lot of hussars and not enough cannons. All right, let me just check. I've got five groups here, so let me just calculate this real fast. Five times six equals 30, so I need 23 guards. And 14 cannons. Let's go for 14 cannons. Europe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I can only get two guards for now. So we'll we'll wait on the rest. Um now I've been thinking about Hoi 4 a lot as well. Like what do we need to do? I but I would start overhauling a lot of the systems that are currently in place. Also, I would start extending the timeline a little bit. Um, but that's that's where you uh, run into engine problems. Maybe they should just spend a, a year optimizing the engine or mi migrating the game over to the new engine that they're using for CK3. 
but they need to get that that game back in order. Um, I yeah, there's there's a lot of I would change, uh, but a lot of minute stuff. I would also change the numbers, how the game progresses numbers, like. It's so easy to get 50,000 aircraft in the air, and you're thinking, like, the Battle of Britain was in, it only involved 300 aircraft on the British side. Um, no, not 300. Excuse me, but not as... Not, uh, I need to actually quickly look this up before I talk too much out of my ass. Battle of... It wasn't a lot, that's the entire joke. Um, yeah, about 2,000 aircraft on one side. And about two and a half thousand aircraft on the German side. That's not a lot, and it's so easy to get like fifty thousand aircraft in the air and that kind of stuff. Uh, I really dislike s several systems. I would overhaul most of the military system. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, I would uh, shift the way, uh, for example, how um, uh, goods are moved across the map. Um, make that a lot more of an active process and a lot less of a passive process. So, you know, as, as Germany, you can decide to really um, uh, use your submarines to, the, to more ideal, um, just block off resources for form to get food into the game. Uh, Czechoslovakian Panacea's enforced their friend demands in Franconia. Uh, I don't know what that means, but sure. You don't still not exist, though. Hmm. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of minute stuff that I would love to do. Um, let's, uh... Hmm, shit. That's a little bit too much. Maybe, maybe it would be a good idea instead of, you know, upgrading Hoi 4 is just make Hoi 5. I know it's really early and a lot of people are like, no, we want something else first. But I think that game, or do, the, what the, do what they did with Solaris, you know, make a Hoi 4 2.0. Just overhaul the fucking game because there's a lot of sh shit that needs to happen. What the hell am I bleeding for money, though? I think it might be my ships as well. Hmm. I can run on a deficit for a little while. I think I really need to get some research done in my commerce, because uh, we're not making enough money. That's definitely not how I want to split the armies. Wait, I am probably still building stuff in Africa, am I not? Nope, I'm not. Okay, I need two African horses. Or are they stuck on an island somewhere again? Because that's where we built our... Yeah. Wait, for fuck's sake. Still, I have one too many regular. So let's get rid of that. Move those horses over. Alright, see you later, uh, Chris Depp. Thanks for joining, though. Now, at the rate we're going, uh, we're gonna get through the game um, before the, uh, the end of the stream. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for joining. It's, uh... Italy took over Portugal. Well, I don't even know why we had Portugal in our in our thing. Trinket minimum wage. That's fine. Take it.
If plays in the sun against Canada? Canada has my own fucking poppet. Why? Why? Wait. Yeah. I. Why would I want to attack my own puppet? I, uh, I'm going to take a quick look at China, though, after I've moved these guys in their correct position. So I'm wondering how far they they went. Nah, they seem to have cleaned up. Or not. Apparently, uh, anarcho liberals are still uh, working their magic. But, uh, they seem to be in permanent... Uh, permanent uh, Rebellious problems. I don't mind that. That seems like uh, it's best for everybody involved. I think I've got one horse too many, maybe. Or did I not cancel the production of the horses? There we go. Fix that. That's leaving the correct army, not the wrong one. <laughs> Park an army in Mao. Wow, okay, cool. Electrical power generation, shift work. Yeah, looks like, uh, looks like we, yeah, looks like we're good. More exhaustion, plurality goes goes up. Great, get some free prestige. Are we on the uh, no factory projects being set up? Now I'm hoping that um, okay, we got some telephone factories coming in. I think I have a car factory here. Yeah, looks like uh, we're producing a nice amount of goods. I think uh, I hope we're actually producing the uh, electric gears though, because I can't see them. Apparently, uh, they're not really interested in producing electric gears. I got an aircraft factory coming up. Got some electric gears here. Let's, uh, you know, up that factory and uh, let's uh, hire the priority that they get in there. All right, let's expand a little bit. Expand wherever is necessary. Um. Uh, Sure, I don't care. I don't know what they're talking about. Looks like uh wanna get rid of booze. Cannot agree with that. Cannot agree with the getting rid of booze. Booze is the uh, staple of society. What would a man do without his drink? What a man do without his drink? Um, Alright, seems our money's uh, back up again. I don't know what exactly uh, happened, but... Uh, looks like we're good. I'm wondering how it's gonna look in Hoi 4. I don't think any... Uh, I'm hoping some fascism and communist uh, blocks spawn, but it might be never, uh, never gonna happen. We have a lot of monarchists going on. Um... You're occupied by Westphalian communists. Maybe I'll let Westphalia flip communists, so at least... Because uh, I will I will um, integrate some of these smaller states, like Alemannia, Franconia, into uh, Westphalia, so they are a German state, like Brandenburg, stuff like that. I will maintain Poland. But i got to see if I can make a German bloc. Uh, I might create a entity called, like, like a larger Burgundy, so I'll... Well, I'll snack up some land here. I'll probably transfer some more land here from my own to them. So there's going to be a little bit of work here and there. Um, Tyrol and Italy, I'm probably going to leave them like that. Byzantine Asia might actually be interesting, or Byzantine Empire. But it's still an absolute monarchy. So we got to see how this is going to go. Um, Austria wants an alliance with me, that's fine. I probably won't do any pre-generated uh, a lot uh, like factions because I kind of want to get the game a little bit more flexible. Oh right, I actually do have stuff over here. Get rid of that. 
Uh, this guy can't move either. It's also only a cannon, so that's not really my problem. That's a guard, but who cares? Some guys stuck there. I don't care about them. Gets electric furnace going. Um, not really uh, optimal armies are these, are they? Oh, we actually got some more guards in there. Um, maybe four of them. All right, let's mark them over there. Some tax efficiency. Well, you know, gain a minute to see, like, see if I care. Uh, let me just... Get rid of this. So you can get one more guard uh, somewhere that isn't in yeah, Leon will do. For now, I think I'm gonna stick with an army that size. It looks fine with me. Uh, kill yourself's fine. I don't think it's a lot's gonna happen anymore. Um, I gotta confess though, the AI ended up leaving a lot more interesting than I than I anticipated. So that's not bad. Um, I. Uh, I might flip some ideologies though in Hoi 4 just to get some more tension going up. Because um, if there is everybody is a monarchy, it's not going to be that interesting. So it might be fun to let like uh, make China into fascist empire, uh, get a communist Central Europe. Maybe we'll see what we're going to do with here. I probably create a single Russian state out of the entire northern area here. Uh, a Scandinavian state like right there. Um, Mm. Can I clean up a little bit? I'll probably clean up the borders here a bit, make it more like a central Kazakh nation here. Persia has a large power block. I'll let India be a mess. I think it's going to be fun. Clean up America a little bit. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be pretty good, I think. He thinks. Yeah, Tyrol seems to be actually, uh... Actually took a bits of it it Italy, even though Italy is considered a civilized nation, or a great power. Wait, Italy by... holy crap, how? They got... Fuck all industry. Any interesting wars going on? Nope. Alright. Alright, we're done here. We're not going to do mass politics because I don't really want any fascism in my Netherlands. Um, hell, I might, I might flip to fascism just to get some fun stuff going on. Maybe I'll flip to fascism. Game, put down Boxer or Bellamy and CB on... Okay. Chinese communists. Uh, maybe, maybe they go communist. Maybe not. Enable fascists in the world. Well, fascists are now a thing, so we might see some fascists rising up somewhere. It might be interesting. Um, doesn't really look like we've got them. Like, we've barely got any rebels at all. Like, it's a very, very slow, uh, low list of stuff. Hopefully, uh, well, ah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see uh, where we end up. We've got about 30 more years to go, but I think this is going to be the last stream that, we're, that I'm going to do. Um, I, I really need to get rid of that fucking single province. I hate that conquest is so stupidly expensive, though. Um, against you, Greater Aquitaine. What does it cost to declare war on you? It's also one again acquiring an entire state. It's a little bit too expensive for me. Well, Burgundy. Uh place in the sun, really? <sighs> I 
Well, we'll, we'll uh, eat some more over there. Socialist is fine. Do -do 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 do Could probably set Sphering Burgundy. That'll be a bad idea. Oh, let's not get Lazivert. That sucks. I don't care. Decline of the West and loss of generation. Okay. Sure. Let's get some... Uh, I actually need to get some military uh, directionism done for gas attack, that kind of stuff. Um, but I doubt we're going to get a very big war. Um, it's going to be truly relevant. Okay, I, I am literally clicking on random stuff right now. Oh well. Anglo-Saxon nationalists rose up. What a bastard. Like really, Anglo-Saxon nationalists, we are... I think it's because we're considered primarily British culture, which doesn't even exist, so... Alright, um, declare war, the band concessions, let's go for, I think it's Valoni, let's actually check real fast, this is considered, Russia Champagne, this is where your capital is, right, so yeah, it is Austria, Valoni, Valonia, yoink, demand concessions, there we go, yeet, there we go, All right, um, There we go. Get some quick sieges done. Well, that's that. War is a fundamental evil? No. War is pretty brutal. Yeah, I don't really want to do any of those those liberation wars. I'll just spawn them by now. I don't feel like doing it. We'll fix it in Hoi 4 anyway. Spawning a little bit fewer nations in the Hoi Force is not a bad idea anyway, so... Alright, now, who occupies this actually? Oh, this is actually occupied by rebels. Not even specific rebels. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's increase our opinion here. See if I can get some um, military access now. The client. Let's increase relations as well. Hopefully that will will uh, get a little bit better. Once again, we're making a boatload of money. We can lessen the expenditure of taxation a little bit on the on the masses. Hopefully that will uh, make them a little bit less pissy about everything. Lions offer from Panama. Nah. Okay, got some occasional rebels popping up here, but... Uh... Oh, fuck. We no longer have Westphalia in our sphere. That's, uh... That's not how this is supposed to work. Uh, let's ban the Austrian Embassy. Yoink. And let's get them back in. Alright, so we got that. Um, got the military directionism. So that means we have gas attack. 
Uh, okay, so we first need to get cast attack. Call to Austrian liberation of Westphalia and Saxon against Westphalia. Oh, they went to war? Hey, and I think we just... Did we just unlock cast attack? Yeah, we did. Well, 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 well. Now you're allied with Westphalia. It doesn't mean that you... Yeah, it does. Alright, got to sense of war. Let's uh, take this a little bit serious. That's a little bit serious. I well, genuinely mean just a little bit. I'm not gonna really overly build anything for this. Some Liverpool guys. We'll put these guys in Paris. Um, and Warp, Arnhem. So, well, I might get some Dutch territory out of this. Um. Alright, first need to war needs to go a little bit better, but I think we'll be good. Should be going fine now. Add a war goal. There we go. Uh, acquire a state. Nope. Place in the sun. No. Really? Ah, fuck. Okay, we cannot acquire anything. This is just being going to be fucking expensive to do so, which is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks, but it is what it is. Alright, let's uh, gas attack. Now, can we actually, because if we have the invention of... Oh, we can't get gas defense, because... We... Nobody else has gas attack capability yet, so... We don't know how to defend against it, because we're the only ones that have it. Well, what would happen if you'd gas your own troops? That should be, you know... Give you an indication of what should be done or what shouldn't be done. Alright, so far so good. We're not even really committing to this. I don't really feel like committing to this overly. Let's be honest. It's not really... Um, this, is, uh, this is definitely put, put punching down. All things considered. There's not really a threat here. Um, cause I got the number one military. Uh, maybe I should get a war goal in for now. It's just really expensive on the infamy side of things. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with it. I'll just uh, I'll just send the peace deal. It's fine. All right. Oh, and I just got some Jacobin rebels. All right. Um. Oh well, uh, round of usual suspects. That should be cleaned up fast enough anyway. I don't really know what they're fighting against, but um, apparently they're miffed about something, as usual. Offering a country. Do I want to fight a world war for Syrian independence against my own ally? I don't think I do. Are I, am I still allied with uh, Persia? Yeah, no, I am. So let's let's not gonna bother with that too much. So let's not. I like where I'm at. 
and that might be the problem here that I really like where I'm at so I'm not really willing to invest too much yeah it seems to be an easy rebellion anyway so no queries no queries let's just uh stick with uh, with our efforts and uh, I think we'll be oh, oh, let's not make a new unit just just merge these up there we go all right so there we go i think even this army is now fine yeah no it is so i think all of my armies are good maybe this one isn't okay you need a guard all right build army guard in europe um so happens to be one in the right place leads whole new castle doesn't really look like this uh, 27 is fine all right, what do you guys want? You are favor for laissez-faire. I cannot change that. Welted waste voting, I can't. So, well, sucks to be you. Our low minimum wage. Let's get some low minimum wage going then. All right. Hmm. South Africa. Can I build in South Africa? Yeah, I can. Um, let's get two more. That's South America, but that's that's completely beside the point. I uh, I like the ability to properly speak. So so suck it. Um, It doesn't really seem I'm losing infamy anyway, it's fucking terrible. Okay, any interesting decisions? Not really. Hmm. Found the BBC. Wait, is that a thing that we can do? Oh, yeah. Uh, we need national radio networks for that. I think that's an invention. Is that a cultural thing? Oh, yeah, that's uh, on behaviorism. We can go for that. Let's, uh, let's just go for behaviorism and then uh, find the BBC. Might be fun. Uh, increase opinion, even though I just, you know, stomped on you. I gotta confess, confess though, the um, literacy rate in our country is pretty good. I've kind of stopped min-maxing like a while ago and I'm going through the motions. I think that's what happens in separate games when I play them for too long. I just kind of start going through the motions after a while and not really properly paying attention anymore, which is a bit, bit of a shame, but whatever. Let's get some more clerks going. Like, holy shit, we got 4% clerks here. Definitely don't need that. Wait, that was the wrong one. I've got a, I got a lot of clerks everywhere, actually. All right, let's get some Irish clerks set up. Uh, clerk there, clergy there, and clerky McClurk boy over there. There we go. All right, I actually have one more remaining. Shit. Um, Northwest England. Oh, that one has got 6% already. That seems like a very bad idea to get the clergy going over there. Well, let's get some, uh, I don't know, fuck. Get them over here, I guess. But efficiency will, uh, that will be fine eventually, so. How much industrial score does China have? Oh, we're, we're barching in there. We, we definitely are. We might, we might bypass them soon. That's pretty cool, actually. We might bypass literally the uh, the other world. So you're at war with Italy, and okay. So this seems to be the closest thing to a. Uh, we got a Poland to exist. Hmm. Yeah, it seems Westphalia might not actually live to see the end of the game at this rate. Somebody, uh, somebody stop them. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, 
Oh wow, we can create some more states. All right, good shit. Good shit, so how is everything? I am... Um, okay, actually got some pretty... Okay, news regarding work for once. Uh, it might be a very interesting project. It's gonna take a lot of my time that you can actually do. So that might be pretty good. My health is is slowly increasing, so that's that's great. Um, it's no longer a as much of a day to day problem as it was before, so that's pretty good. Other than that, yeah, I'm trying to um, to keep up the uh, spirits. You know, it's getting darker every day. I mean, it light outside, you know, days are shortening. Um, I'm gonna spend as much time in the sun if I can. Drink my tea. I'm actually out of tea. You know what? We're at, ah, uh, you know, in about 15 minutes, I'm actually gonna take a short break and I'll make a cup of tea. So, uh, that is important. But, uh, yeah. I'm doing fine. I've, I've got my work is improving, and I think that's m m might be a lot, might be a big improvement. I'm having a lot of fun with friends. We're playing some Hell at Loose, which is uh, still a really fun game. Really looking forward to the next patch. Um, so, um, all in all, yeah, pretty good. And how are you doing, Kebab Lord? Because you know, let's be polite and ask it as well. I'm genuinely actually interested. So. Mm -hmm. Rebels have risen into somebody else's sphere of influence. Yeah, 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 whatever. Did Burgundy become a great power, or what's the fuck's going on? Oh, I might have been booted out by somebody. Fuck. Oh, we have a truce with them. E well, right. What other people want? People wanted. Oh, fucky. Yeet! People want wealth, wealth, weighted wealth voting. What are these rebels, though? British communists in Ireland. Uh, that's not just in Ireland. It seems that like France and England have been spared the commies. Ooh, there we've got some African communism going on. Luckily, I dumped a whole lot of large armies in Africa, so that should not be that much of a problem. Let's just speed through this. As usual. Yeah, it looks like it's being cleaned up perfectly fine. Yeah, keep trying again. I'm good, thanks for asking. Got a new job around the corner. Last one is in August. Security sector. Nice, yeah, you were doing a, a, a reschooling in the security, didn't you? We had a uh, education in security uh, you were following. I think we are almost done. We got a couple more. Alright, so we should be able to invent the radio now. We got our industry maxed. Um, let's get some artillery going. Well, that education is coming up in November. The job isn't connected yet. Oh, that just happens to be... Okay. Anyway, still cool, st still cool stuff, man. It was, uh, having a... Having a Having a job and one that also is like a little bit satisfying, that, you know, can take away so much stress in your life. It's insane. I fucking knew I plonked one over there. Crap. All right. Um, military. Build an army. In South America. In Parana. Not in the, apparently, North Georgia. We've got like 50 Georgias in the world now. Let's get another job on the free education. Oh, nice, man. Oh, was folly has kind of done for it. I don't think it was smart for them to leave my uh, protective uh, custody. That's not really smart of them, isn't it? <laughs> Got some rubber going. How are we looking on factories? Pretty good. 
I don't think I can build any... I'm surprised, actually, that we, we don't have armor and... Uh, right, I'd actually need infiltration for that, so... Fuck me, I guess. Uh, and for... Yeah, for air, we need actually aeronautics to get the aircraft in the air, so... Hey, we got some oil. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We got the talkies. That's a little bit early in 1910, I think. Nah, that might be about rather accurate, actually. And, uh... Just need a little bit more, and then we can get the British Broadcasting Corporation, or... Conglomerate? I actually don't know what it stands for. Actually, I really don't know. It's British Broadcasting... Something, something. Hmm... There are not really many brigades of any potential hostilities, so... Okay, let's get the infiltration, because infiltration is done with tanks, apparently. Don't ask. This is NCO training. Um, after that, I guess some steam turbine ships done, because we're going to get some dreadnoughts. Am I maxed out on my, on my harbors? I don't think I am. No, naval base... Some are, but a lot of them... Oh, no, wait, it's just most of them actually... No, it's not... Right, it's the mildly different shade of green that you're looking at here. That's uh, always really annoying. It's the... Either you're a light shade of green or a less light shade of green, which is... Perfect, if you ask me. To confuse my brain. Yeah, because this, to me, is almost the same shade of green. Right, I'll check when uh, when we have the new uh, stuff set up. See, there we go. Fuck. Oh, okay, not gonna bother, not gonna bother. Everybody wants an alliance with me. Yeah, 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 fuck you. Um. <sighs> kind of funny that bits and pieces of uh, Westphalia just kind of are disappearing. I'm definitely not going to give that to Italy. I might form Denmark out of it. That seems like a very stupid idea. Uh, Poland, Lithuania, that's definitely going to become a part of Poland then. I think Westphalia is not going to be as big as... Uh, hmm. You can't hustle as a core? Really? That's... Uh, that can't be good. Alright, we own Frankfurt. <laughs> Only 26 years left in the game. Yeah, yeah. So I think at the end I might extend the stream a little bit and we go can go through the conversion process. Uh, depending uh, what we're... Maybe make Westphalia Germany? Probably, yeah. I don't know if I can tech switch them to, to Germany real easy, but uh, I'm probably going to make a German state out of this. I might need to spawn them in manually or release the state of Germany and then flip some shit about. Like, I'm going to do probably quite a lot of prep work for Hoi 4 to clean a lot of shit up. And I think that's... Part of that is also that I understand Hoi 4. Um, a lot better than I do, like, Victoria. So, like, modding stuff in is a lot easier for me. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna give it an attempt. Uh, and you can, there's a lot of console commands that are really gonna make that a lot easier. So it's more, more not as much modding, more it is gonna be like uh, modifying a save game. Should be fine. I don't know why we're losing money all of a sudden again, but whatever. I have no idea how to do any type of modding. It's not going to be any hard modding, though. It's going to mostly going to be in-game console commands, uh, painting, occupation, that kind of stuff. Uh, you've got occupation painter, that kind of stuff uh, you can use. Hey, you've got tanks. Pretty good. Um, yeah, I think uh, the tank divisions, that I, how I would build them, is probably going to be a... Um, not in Africa. Let's, uh, like... One, two, two, three. Uh, that's South America. One, two, three. And this is going to become an aircraft because since we don't have them, so. 
That are guns in Africa. I don't want them. There we go, and I will add an aircraft in here. I think that's gonna be my late game division, even if we can get into the late game. I don't know how much of this uh, army converts over to Hoi 4 though. So it might be interesting to build up as much as we can just to get that army conversion rate up and running. Yes, yes, we'll attend. I can barely tax switch. Well, I've done a lot of... Because uh, quite often actually, uh, which is fairly sad, in Hoi 4 stuff breaks, especially modded stuff. Um, so I do occasionally need to do a little bit of fixing here and there to get everything up and running. And make it a little bit more fun to uh, to, to, to play with. Uh, this requires 1914, okay. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, radio factory. We got radios, noise. I think we also now can get the BBC funded. Get some prestige, we get we lose some militancy, and everybody likes me a little bit more. Wow, that's that sounds like arrogant. Alright, well, let's start getting some admin efficiency up and running. Now, the quick question is, are we gonna get any tank factories up and running? Now, I wish I could sort in this list on goods, like click on tanks and then only show my tank factories, but I, I doubt uh, that's gonna work, so. I hope we pr actually produce some tanks, so let's actually check, because we are we, we are building them, so are we actually getting them? That's like the big question, I guess. Um, we might not actually be capable of building them for now. Uh, no, we're building armor, so either we're building it or somebody else is selling this stuff. Not in high demand. Uh... Top five producers. There are no producers for it, apparently. Really? I how do how do how would that work? Now we're closing up the last game we've played three games so far. Good bad thoughts about the whole campaign so far. Ah, you know, these games are not built for grand campaigns. That's my my my, my thoughts so far. Um it's kind of weird considering we started off somewhere in Germany, then we ended out up here in England. Um um, I think, yeah, I think the big downside of like the grand campaign scheme of things, I would like to be like a, like a higher difficulty spike sort of thing, so it wouldn't be as easy to just snowball uh, as, as we did. Um, but I've, I've been enjoying it. Yeah, fair enough. Um, the English royal family is, yeah, is German as well as Dutch as well as, oh, you're gonna be kidding me. We have a tank stuck on the Isle of Man, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Shoot me, please. Anyway, um... I wish there was a single game that could do that, could do this. But, yeah, I think every Paradox game got its own pros and cons, um, and uh, we're, we definitely don't have the, um, like, the, it would be fun to have, like, the ultimate uh, Paradox game, um, which does, like, all of it. But I doubt that that will ever happen, so... I think one of them will rise up in Curaçao, which is something that I can't really deal with. Wait, where the fuck did you rise up? Oh wait, it's... it's uh, we apparently have also 15 different Curaçaos, so... Um... I have to I have to give a massive shout out though to the guys that built the mods or the software that that uh, that enables you to do this. Um, I think especially as as more as a as a uh, role playing narrative, uh, you could do a you could have a lot of fun, um, and it's amazing that it even works. 
Uh, so, yeah. Wales. British pan nationalism forced the demands in Wales. But Wales doesn't exist, so... No idea how that works. Oh, this looks pretty good. Well, most of the Welsh uh, culture is not Anglo-Saxon. Good, it seems like Welsh culture is disappearing fast. Good, as it should. Hmm. Might have spawned somewhere else, I don't know. I don't even know where to fucking find them. Alright, pause for a second. Uh... Yeah, that's just military stuff. Uh, find country. Wales. Wales. Wait, is it here? No, that's... It's Italy. Hey, Wales has spawned. Right there. Look at them. Look at them. We got ourselves a little Wales in, in the south of Italy. But, you know... I... I don't know. I I I definitely uh, I am definitely uh, what? That's definitely not confusing at all. Like really? How 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 does that work? Could anybody explain that to me? <laughs> it's um, fun times to be had, I guess. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. Um, I got more admin efficiency, get some factory throughput stuff. As well as refugees from the English suppression, they fled and set up somewhere in northern Italy. Yeah, or, you know, might have been just that they were on holiday for a while and uh, kind of forgot to return home. I don't know. Um, uh, what the hell? Alright, we got a crisis. Am I interested in this one? Persia. Versus Italy. Hell yeah, I'm interested in this one. Um, I'm gonna support the Persians, because nothing more fun than kick Italians. You know, also I also kind of want to test out our new tanks, see how well they are, how well they will perform. Professor gave me a call, what did I miss? Um, not much. We're building tanks. Wales has spawned. In uh, northern Italy, like right there. Which is now being taken over by rebels. Because... <laughs> uh, other than that, nothing really. We've been talking a little bit more about plans for the conversion to Hoi 4 and my observations of the road so far. Building some tanking armies. And uh, what's the crisis about? I don't know. The crisis of the return of Tlemcen Reichsville's territory. But it means that we can kick some Italians, so... And Alemania is a backer? Wait. Alemania is now great power? But they're tiny. They're... They're just this. Huh. Okay, they accept it. Boring. Also, I am bleeding a whole lot of money, actually. I might want to take a look at that at some point. Uh, so Tlemki now exists, but... Oh, we... I don't know how we got resolved. Great, that's a permanent prestige. Woohoo! Hey, we can kick the poles. I don't really want to. Hey, we can build dreadnoughts. And we got ourselves a whole lot of rebels. Whee! What do you want? Apparently nothing. Wait, what? Oh, got some here. What are you? No Jacobins. Well, well, well. People in protectionism, wealth voting. Yep, sure. 
Anyway, I'm gonna take a small little break because I want a cup of tea. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make some tea. I'll be right back. <laughs> 